always there are somebody who can change things, okay? But the question is for how long? In this final episode, we wrap up our conversations with our specialty coffee experts and focus on the outlook of what the future might hold in light of the ongoing issue with delivering fair prices to coffee farmers. So for me, the future looks like we make decisions about whether to continue or not continue coffee production in certain countries based on whether the market is willing to pay what it's going to take to maintain those coffees. Um, I feel like it is inevitable that we will lose access to certain coffees mm -hmm. um, where the market is unable to pay the price that's going to be required to support minimum wage, cost of production, living wage, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I very much see a movement toward uh, more efficiency, let's say, in the whole value stream. Uh, and I think that's going to come from transparency. Um, that's going to come from information. This information that's going to make us ask questions, make us look for efficiency, make us ensure that as much money can do is getting back to producers. Um, because that's the real crisis, is that we're, we're facing the situation now where producers have been losing money for years and years. And some of them have other businesses that they're subsidizing their coffee business with. Um, and a lot of them don't. And so I think we'll see uh, a lot of hardship in the short term while, while people are trying to figure out what, what, what to do as an alternative to, to coffee. Always there are somebody who can change things, okay? But the question is for how long? Look, who started this movement of direct trade and talking about the producer and finding better coffee? It was Jeff Watts, maybe 15 years ago, working with intelligentsia, okay? And Jeff did it out of pure love for good. I, I really believe that. He is a very good person. He wanted to change the life of the producer, import better coffee, create sustainable relationships. He's the only one that did it sincerely and for a long time. Where is intelligentsia now? It is owned by a private equity. Is the interest of a private equity the same as George wants? No. Definitely not, okay? We all know what private equity wants. All you need to bring this industry forward is connection. If that is the premise of working together, then we can get a whole lot more done. Then we can really work together on this transaction guide. When you think in terms of um, connection in instead of differences, stuff like this happens. I think that's very sustainable. So, the opinions on the future of specialty coffee seem torn. There are some that suggest that coffee, in and of itself, might not be sustainable in the long run. However, the number of optimists with a vision of light at the end of the tunnel are many. I don't think it's true. It is unfortunately true for some and maybe the major part right now, but I think there are ways out of it. And just to say, well, coffee in itself is not sustainable is also dumb. Like, it's, it's a blunt statement which creates uh, awareness, but it's not easy right now, but it's also, it's, yeah, let's be positive. Huh?